This new Quen update just dropped hours ago and it's a game changer for building web apps without coding. And I'll show you exactly how to build fully functioning e-commerce websites, apps, games, and social networks with a single prompt. We even, for example, created this full website in just one single line. I'll show you exactly how today. Plus, I'll show you why this free tool beats paid alternatives like Bolt.new. I actually tested them side by side. On top of that, we even, for example, created a clone of RedNote. And you'll learn the secret to using Quen's API key to code locally and build anything completely for free. Let's go. What I'm going to show you is the new update that came out from Quen. And it literally just got announced a few hours ago. Like you can see, this is a new update where essentially you can actually use the web dev feature inside Quen to code out tools, apps, whatever you want to build, right? And you don't need to be able to code to use it. It's kind of like a bolt.new alternative, really simple to use, but it's completely free as well. So let me show you exactly how to use it. Basically, you can build out for web pages, apps, tools. You can see some examples here. So this is a example of a drawing app. So if we go inside here, we can draw some masterpieces. Like you can see, this is a guy with crazy hair and that was incredibly easy to do right if we clear that it works perfectly if we want to increase the boldness etc we can we can change the colors etc and we just coded that out just by saying create a drawing app where i can draw things right that was it and also if you go down here you can also click on edit and then grab the code right so you can grab the code directly here and start using that here's another example so this is a e-commerce website at least you just said write a fruit e-commerce website. It's a very simple prompt. The tool that I was using for this was 23.5b from Quen. There's a bunch of models inside there. I would recommend using Quen Max, so Quen 2.5 Max, or Quen 3 23.5b as well. That's one of the most powerful models, but of course, it is a bit slower versus Quen Max as well because it requires more computing power. All right. So you can see some examples here. If we open this up, we can click on the full screen mode and then you can see how the website looks. We can flip between tabs. We can add this to the car. You can see the basket updated right there. And we literally just built out an e-commerce app in one single line, right? Didn't need to be able to code or anything. Here's another example. So in this example, this actually took quite a long time to build. And we said, create a social networking website with a red note style design. It went off, did its magic. If we open this up full screen, you can see an example right here. So this is like a red note copy. If we click through the tabs, you can see it's even got like a DM feature here. <laughs> you can actually send messages. It's pretty crazy. And then we've got the notifications, the profile section with test data. But yeah, it was really easy to build. At least you always said was one line. Create a social networking website with red note style design. So absolutely awesome and completely free to use. Now, if we did exactly the same thing inside bolt.new, let's see what we get back. So bolt.new obviously is a paid tool. We'll plug that in and ask it to do the same thing. So we're comparing side by side. How does Quen perform with his new update versus a paid tool like bolt.new for building our apps? Let's see what we get back. Also, this is fully responsive, right? So you can see here, this actually works in full responsive mode. And here's another one that we built out. So this was a medieval siege game. So you can build games and apps. It's not just limited to websites, for example. And this one was a bit more of a complicated prompt. So we said, create an app simulating a medieval siege, blah, blah, blah. Use that whole prompt. It went off and it created a lot of code like you can see. And then you can use it inside the preview mode right here. Now, I wouldn't say this is as good at coding as something like Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, but again, you have to pay for Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview if you want the Canvas option, right? So inside Gemini Advanced, you can select Preview, get access to that, and then select Canvas and do similar things. But the problem is this is on the pay plan, whereas if you want like a free alternative with one of the best AI models, then this is an easy way to do it. Quen is also pretty cool as well because if you're even if you're not using the web dev feature, then inside Quen it's pretty good just for day to day stuff. So you can see here you can do searches. I'm actually going to switch to Quen 2.5 Max, but you can see here like it searches the web, it's connected to the web, etc. 
It's very similar to the UI from something like DeepSeek as well. And then if we leave that chat, we can also upload images, videos, audio, and documents. So it's a multi-modal model. Now, if you want to use the web dev feature, you just go to a new chat cell, select the model. So for example, Quen 2.5 Max, and then select web dev here. And that's going to allow you to do the preview. So for example, if we click on this, create a personal website for a software engineer, including sections such as a personal introduction, education background, project experience, etc., it's going to go off and start coding that. And there you go. You've got the code back. It's pretty basic, but it does the job. And it's really fast, actually, to be fair as well. If you compare the output of this versus Bolt, Bolt is still coding out the app right there, whereas Quen 2.5 Max is already completed. And then, you know, if there's anything you don't like, because it's a multimodal model, you can take a little screenshot like so, copy that, go back into the web dev, tell it to change the colors, but let's make it more sleek and modern, right? Now, what you can also do is if you select thinking here, it's going to be a lot slower, but you'll get better outputs because it's using its reasoning model, which is typically more logical and better for code. You get the thinking model here. And then that will start generating the outputs over here. So we've got the test back from bolt.new. So we can compare that side by side versus the free version from Quen and just see which one gives us this better output, right? So if we open this up, let's test this out. The settings doesn't work on bolt.new. If you go inside here, click on the profile. Very similar outputs, isn't it? But most of the tabs don't work. So, for example, trending, saved, settings, etc., they don't work inside the bold.new preview. Whereas inside, for example, the preview from Quen actually works, right? You can click through between the icons at the top there. So, it's very interesting to see how close they are in terms of the outputs, but how much easier and for free you can do this. So, it's pretty crazy. And then also, what you can do here is if you want to code out locally using Quen, you can go inside Open Router and you can grab a free API key from Quen, which is pretty nice, right? So if we go through the models, you can see, for example, we've got this API and this one that are both free to code with. So if we click on that, we can get an API key and we can use that inside something like Visual Studio Code and start building stuff out that way as well. So to do it for free is absolutely amazing. And it's actually better than most people would expect. Here's the output again. So this is the version that's been recreated using thinking mode and then the design is slightly improved right it's slightly better i wouldn't say it's great but it's on par with stuff like claude to be honest and then you can keep tweaking it going back and forth with it and then once you're happy with that you can get the code right here so this is code and you could host that on something like netlify for example now some people worried that the quen api doesn't work so let's test it out so I'm going to go inside Visual Studio Code and just check whether we can actually code with it for free. And the way that it usually goes is these companies release an API key and then that one will expire, but they'll release a new model afterwards that's very similar. So if we type in, for example, Quen inside here, we can select between Quen 3, 14B, 1.7B, etc., And we'll just do a little test here. So we'll say, are you working? And if it's not working, then we can switch between the API keys and just test it. But let's see. So yeah, that's working. You've got the thinking model that you can code with using Quen 3 hyphen 1.7 B. And now you can see it's coding out using that completely for free, right? It doesn't cost us anything, but we still get the advantages of using a thinking model and a reasoning model. And we can code locally for free. Visual Studio Code is free. Klein is free. And also using Quen 3 is free, right? So I'm just going to close that, but you can see how easy and neat, you know, how quick this is to set up. So that's basically it. Quen, web dev, really simple and easy to use. You can build a lot of cool stuff in there. Just make sure that you go to new chat and then make sure that you select thinking and also have web dev enabled, right? The best two models, 2.5 max is a lot faster than 235B. Obviously, Quen 3 is a more updated and more powerful model than Quen 2.5 max. Additionally, like I mentioned, you can also, for example, create videos inside Quen as well. It's got an artifacts feature and you can also generate images too. As you can see right here, you can use different images 
And also you can get a free API key from Open Router and then use that to code locally as well. So that's basically it for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all of my best tips, templates, workflows, ease prompts, etc., to automate and save you time and make money with AI, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you type in Quen here, you'll see tons of training inside the AI Profit Boardroom on Quen 3, what it means, how to use it. It's a one hour training on that. Plus, it's got a full SAP, etc. So if you want to learn exactly how to use Quen properly, feel free to get that. It also comes with daily updates on all the latest AI technologies like you can see right here, along with SAPs. And also if you go inside the classroom and then go to the crash course, this is exactly how we make money and save hundreds of hours of AI, right? So if you wanna implement this stuff into your own business, you can. And also it comes with weekly Q&A calls with us and a community where you can just post any questions you have, right? So feel free to get that link in the description. And if you wanna get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, then feel free to book that in. This is based on what's working for our happy clients. And basically on that call, one-to-one, -one, if you wanna get more leads, if you wanna get more customers, if you wanna grow your business, et cetera, then we will show you with a custom tailored game plan exactly how to grow your business with SEO and rank not just inside Google, but also inside AI search engines as well. Thanks so much for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.